and if, everything in life. Yes. I, being nice just makes it easier. What's the saying? A little more with sugar little, than... than uh, <laughs> all right. Um, all right. So let's talk a little more about travel, because if you will arrive at your holiday destination today, you might be looking forward to gathering around with your family, right? Yeah, but that uh, might also you might want to perhaps come to the table for a different reason as well. Uh, so I double clicked potential yeah, highs yeah, from this, today this is right on through the day after yeah. Christmas record highs. Look at where they are. Also look at where they are not. They're not across the northern tier states or the west coast or parts of New England. But there is a little bit of cold air. So if you want cold, North Dakota, northern Minnesota, northern Maine, mm -hmm. that's the cold spots. <laughs> go north or go up in elevation across the west and yeah. parts of New England. You'll definitely get it here. But uh, amazing numbers here for New York City. You know, you're not going to see record temperatures. You're not going to see no. super cold temperatures. Not quite. Today, you're like, you're like, what are you talking about, Paul? Because <laughs> it's really kind of chilly out there. Yeah, it's chilly. And yeah. even the, the Christmas holiday is not going to be cold enough for snow, but just on the cooler side. Maybe some snow on Monday. But, you know, temperatures trending about around average. Yeah. You're thinking, what's the deal with the record heat, good low? Like, not yeah. for you, New York. But <laughs> Yeah, for sure. Um, let's take a look at some skiing spots. We'll go to Breckenridge, Colorado, where we do have a lot of snow coming. When a storm warnings are up, Eisenhower tunnels are just yeah. getting here. could be a challenge. Um, but it's not crazy cold, but cold enough especially overnight to get the snow. But we need the snow and the rain in the west for the drought, that's for sure. Yeah. Well, let's get a look at the week ahead with your good pick, solid pick. Yeah, especially if you can enjoy it and then go back to your snow, this is a nice little break for yeah. the holiday. Yeah, no, it really is. And I think a lot of folks are taking that break because we've seen top destinations. You've got Orlando, South Florida, Anaheim. Those are all the top spots. Yeah, and also great for families as well. You know, why not just, you know, play in the snow when you can play in the sand? achieve net zero greenhouse gas emissions by the year 2050. Yes, and our climate unit pattern shows us four ways the aviation sector is taking on that challenge. Actually, first record high of this whole pattern yesterday, Del Rio 84. Yeah, here in late May, it's here to, oh, it's late <laughs> know, December. Right? Exactly. But this is late May, you're thinking, oh, not a bad day, you know, kind of on the cool side, 70s and 80s, but it is December. Texas, back in the 80s, we'd see more records. You mentioned Del Rio yeah. yesterday. I'm going to save that map and then bring it back up in May, and I bet you it will be very similar. The reason this is happening is we have a really strong ridge of high pressure that is building and staying here, and that's the key is that it's not moving. So we're going to keep building on this every day for the next couple of days. And a few months ago, we talked about how this is a La Nina winter, and this is generally the storm track pattern where we have warmer and drier across the south, and the west and the northwest is unsettled and cool. This has lived mm -hmm. up to the kind of the climate forcers yeah. of a La Nina winter. Temperatures in the 70s and 80s and hitting records. Look at Houston, 82 degrees. That'll tie a record for Christmas Eve. We've got Topeka, Kansas, Kansas City all coming close. Paducah smashing a record at 77 degrees, the old record in the 60s. It's one thing to be warmer than average. Another thing to have records being set because these yeah. numbers aren't like 10, 5. Yeah. These are like 25, 30 degrees above average. As we head on towards Christmas Day, close to 70 in Atlanta, close to 80 in Jackson, yeah. mid-80s in Dallas, and perhaps even Houston. All right. It's gonna